Hey, Jeremy here from Holly Performance, and I want to show you this great product from Holly EFI. We've nicknamed it the fuel pump on a stick, but it's actually an OEM style EFI fuel tank module with a 255 liter per hour fuel pump. And today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to install in your classic muscle car or truck. Once you've got the fuel tank removed from your vehicle, you'll need to identify and remove all the items from the kit. I went ahead and laid them out on the bench so I have easy access. Now we can install the supplied hydromat onto the pump using the alignment dial to locate it. Press firmly on the plastic portion of the filter assembly and seat it fully onto the pump assembly. Loosen the two screws that are holding the fuel level sender to the pump assembly and remove it. The screws are captured on the fuel sender bracket so we don't accidentally drop them in the fuel tank. Be careful not to tear the hydromat as you insert it into the tank. Applying some masking tape to the raw edges of the tank opening can help prevent damage to the hydromat itself. Begin by inserting the longer end of the hydromat into your fuel tank opening, working your way down to the short side. It may be necessary to fold the corners of the hydromat to get it completely through the hole. Continue feeding the pump assembly into the fuel tank until you get it down to the fuel sending mounting location. Now we can remove the tape. Next, we need to reinstall the fuel sender. With the two screw holes still visible, insert the float end of your sending unit into the fuel tank and work the sending unit into position. Once the sender is lined up with the holes, resecure it with the mounting screws we loosened earlier and torque them to 23 inch pounds. Now we can finish inserting the rest of the pump assembly into the tank. There may be alignment tabs on your tank. If there are, make sure that you have them aligned correctly. Now we'll need to feed the included O-ring over the fuel supply line as well as the wiring harness. Slide it down and then stretch it over the bulkhead. Center the O-ring in the opening on your fuel tank. Now we can take the included locking ring and feed it over our electrical connection and the feed line and position it over the tank opening. Make sure that the O-ring gasket is still centered in position then install the included lock ring and rotate it clockwise hand tight. You can use a screwdriver or drift to finish securing it. Before you proceed with any electrical work, it's always a good idea to disconnect both battery cables from your battery. A fuel pump relay is a necessity anytime you install an electrical fuel pump. Relays and switches need to be located in a convenient location far away from any exhaust heat. You can use the supplied pigtail to make the connection between your fuel pump module and the fuel pump relay. Remember, any connections made should be at least a 12 gauge minimum and you should always crimp or solder the connections to make sure you have a secure connection. And remember to grind any surface that you may connect a ground to, such as your chassis or your frame rail. Connect the black wire of the harness directly to the battery ground. The gray wire is your positive power wire for the pump and should be connected directly to the power wire coming from your relay. The purple wire can be connected to the factory wire that leads to your vehicle's fuel gauge. And the black with white tracer wire should be connected to a chassis ground near the tank. When connecting the fuel pump module's supply line to your vehicle's factory hard lines, make sure that any rubber hose and clamps that you use are rated for the higher EFI pressures. Swapping your fuel system over to EFI has never been any easier. Thanks for watching. For more information on Holly's 255 liter per hour OEM style EFI fuel tank module, visit our website at holly.com.